Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. So it is about 7.45 in the morning. I have my coffee and today we are going to make apple butter. So I made this last year for Christmas gifts and it was very well received. But last year I did it on the stove top and it required me standing in the kitchen for like three hours watching this stuff um, boil all over my kitchen <laughs> and it wasn't as thick as I would have liked it to be so this year we're going to try a different approach and we're gonna do it in the crock pot so I actually have two um, large oval crock pots I have 12 pounds of apples Kroger had their three pound bags of apples for $2.99 so I got all of these apples for $12 like a dollar a pound which is a really good deal um, and I didn't have to go to an apple orchard or anything like that. I just went to the grocery store and I got apples. I also have some oranges. I'm going to try adding some orange zest this year and see what kind of kick that gives the butter. Um, and I also have some honey crisp apple juice. Uh, this is just unfiltered and the only ingredients are water and apple juice concentrate. All in all, this whole thing um, cost me about $17. And this should be enough. I mean, I, I can them in half pint jars. Um, this should be enough for, I'm thinking like maybe 20 half pint jars. I'm not sure yet. When we get to the canning portion later, um, we will have a final number of how many jars we end up with. So let me show you the apples I bought and then we'll get started. So here are the apples I bought. I have one bag of Galas, one bag of Honeycrisp, and two bags of Fujis. Last year I used only Galas and Fujis, but they had the Honeycrisp on sale too, so I thought why not, let's get those. And you want firm apples because these are going to cook in the crock pot for like 10 hours. And if you used a very soft apple, it would just fall apart into juice. And it wouldn't have any of that like apple butter texture. Um, if you're unfamiliar with apple butter, I think it's kind of like a regional thing. Um, I'm in the Midwest United States and apple butter is like a huge thing here. Basically, it's applesauce. Very sweetened applesauce that you just cook down until it's like the consistency of almost like a marmalade or a jam, but it, it doesn't set up like a marmalade or a jam. Uh, it's just a really thick, dark brown, my favorite way to eat it is on toast or on a biscuit. Just a simple way. So basically, I'm gonna dump everything in the crock pot, let them go all day, like 10 hours, and then come through with my immersion blender and just blend everything up. And then we will get them processed in the jars and that will be a whole bunch of Christmas presents I can check off my list. So the first step is to peel all of the apples. So these apples are a little bit smaller, but these are perfect size to do apple butter with. So I'm actually going to go ahead and peel, um, cut and core these and then split them up. Okay, apples are all peeled, cored, and cut into quarters. I added the zest of half of an orange to each one. Just zested an orange. I added half to each of my two crock pots here, the two crock pot inserts. So in each one of these, I'm going to put two cups of our Honeycrisp apple juice. 
and I'm going to start with two cups. If I feel like it needs more liquid later, I can add more, but I don't want it to be too runny. All right, that's in. Next is our cinnamon and cloves. So this is six teaspoons of cinnamon and three quarters of a teaspoon of cloves. And I just stirred it up. So I'm just gonna put half in each. And this recipe is adapted from um, a recipe from the Fresh Preserving website, the Ball recipe website. Um, it pretty much follows that recipe, but it has the orange zest added to it, and I used juice instead of water. And I'm also using half brown sugar, half white sugar. So all I did was I took three cups of white sugar and three cups of brown sugar and put it in my stand mixer and just mixed it up really quick um, with the whisk attachment so that way it's all combined. And so I'm just gonna scoop this out with my one cup measuring cup into each until it's all in there. And actually the recipe calls for four cups of sugar and I tripled the recipe and so that would be six cups of sugar in each one of these crock pots, and I decided that was too much. Um, so I'm not going to put as much sugar in. Alright, so everything's in, the sugar's in, the spices are in, the juice is in. So the only thing I'm going to do now is just give these a quick mix. Okay, so they're in the crock pots. They're on high for about 10 hours. They're just gonna cook down. They're gonna cook down all day, and I'll add more liquid if I need to. I may not need to since the crock pot uh, is pretty good about holding liquid in. It doesn't evaporate like it would on the stove with no lid. So those are gonna cook down, and then tonight we will can them and see how many half pint jars we end up with, so. See you in a few hours. All right, I am back. It is five o'clock. The apple butter has been in the crock pot for uh, eight hours. And I came home, gave everything a big stir and ran the immersion blender through it. So now I have this. And so all I did was ran the immersion blender through, made it nice and smooth. I'm gonna leave the lids off and I still have it on high. And I'm gonna let these thicken up a little bit more, actually quite a bit more, cause see it's pretty runny still. So I'm gonna let this thicken up. So in the meantime, I have jars in the dishwasher. There's 24 half pint jars in here right now. Um, I think I'm gonna try and find some more just so I know I have enough. And I'm gonna run these through on just like a sanitized cycle. Um, they don't need like soap or anything. This is just to sanitize them. And then we will be ready to get the canner out and get things going. So I'm gonna let these crock pots sit with the lids off, still on high, um, at least until the dishwasher is done. And then we'll see what we need to do after that. We may need to let them sit longer, but we will wait and see. Hello, it is almost seven o'clock. So it's been about 11 hours or so since this whole thing started this morning and the apple butter is done. It is in here. I combined both crock pots into one um, just to make it easier to fill the jars. And I've just been kind of stirring it every, I don't know, half hour or so to keep it from getting too much of a skin on the top while I waited for it to thicken up. And it did thicken up pretty nicely. It'll thicken up a little bit more as it boils in the jars and also after it processes when it sits and as it cools, it'll get thicker. So I have about three and a half gallons of water in the canner and it is coming to a boil. It's not there yet, but it'll get there. Um, I'm going to try to do a double layer of jars tonight because I have a feeling this is going to fill up a lot of jars. I have 
26 half pint jars in the dishwasher. They should be, they're, they're, they're pretty much done. So once they come out, we'll put them on this towel. And this is just to save my countertop and it just makes cleanup easier. Um, I have my little canning funnel here. Since these are half pint jars, the mouths are the like normal narrower size. So this funnel makes everything much easier. I'm gonna use my Instant Pot soup ladle that came with it to ladle it out into the jars. Um, I like this ladle a little bit more than my big ladle for doing things like filling jars because it's not as big and it has a better pour spout on the end so you don't have to worry about it kind of going all over the place. It kind of goes where you want it to go. So I am going to give the canning pot a few minutes, let it get boiling, um, pull the jars out, get those on the towel back here and we'll get the jars filled and ready to go in. These need to boil rapidly for 10 minutes and then you just turn off the heat, let them sit for five minutes and then you can pull them out with your jar lifter or last year I just used a pair of barbecue tongs. So we'll see how many jars we get. This should be interesting. I have no idea how many jars I'm gonna end up with but it's probably gonna be a lot. <laughs> okay, so we have our 26 jars here. I have my little funnel ready to help me out. They did not fit on the towel, so I have two over here on the counter, but um, that's okay. And the jars I just bought are quilted actually, which is nice, and they have a little spot for a label. So basically all I'm going to do is label apple butter in here, and I'm gonna leave about half an inch of head space. We ended up with 19 half pint jars of apple butter, which is a really good amount. Um, I didn't know how many we were going to end up with, so 19 is good. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some paper towels and I'm just going to wipe the rims. is to lid and band and so I put all my lids and bands that came with the jars in the dishwasher as well I just put, stuck them in a colander um, so they would be sterilized and clean also all right everything is on so the next step is to get the jar lifter, wherever that is, here it is. And we're just gonna put these all in the canner. All right, I got all 19 jars in here on two levels. I didn't know if it was gonna work and it did. Um, it is very full. I did actually skim some water off of the top because there was about two inches of water covering. You really only need about an inch and it was like right up to the very top. So I'm gonna process these for 10 minutes and then I will turn off the heat, let them sit for five minutes and then I will pull them out and put them back on the towel. They are all out. I have heard two pings so far. They've been out literally, oh, there was another one, um, like 15, 20 seconds maybe. These will sit here on this towel overnight until tomorrow night. They're gonna sit for 24 hours. And then whichever ones did not seal will go in the fridge. Um, or I can also freeze these jars. These are freezer safe jars. There was another one, so that's four. There we are. Um, I have oh, five. 
have this huge pot full of water. I'm just gonna let that sit overnight until it cools off. Six. <laughs> and it's easier to pour out without burning myself. Seven. <laughs> Eight. Uh, I'm gonna let these sit. And then I'm going to wipe them down again with like a damp cloth and take the rings off and then put some labels on them. I think I'm actually gonna use like the sticky labels this year. Um, last year I did hang tags, but I think this year I might actually do like sticky labels. Libby's back there. Hey Libby. Hello Libby. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there's 19 jars of apple butter. Done, it only took all day. Up next on the docket of canning is tomato stuff. So uh, marinara sauce and maybe another round of salsa. So that will probably happen the weekend of Thanksgiving if I had to guess, because that's a more time consuming and like hands-on project. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.